I'm always telling patients that this is what happens when you have a big fat belly. It's basically like parking a car on the hose when you're trying to water the lawn. So what it does is it stops your hose and you get a little bit of a dribble. So if you're wondering why your penis isn't working and myself and any other health professional you see tells you that you need to get rid of your, wait a minute, wait a minute, belly fat, then suddenly your hose is pumping again. So if you want to know what the right abdominal circumference is, then don't worry about weighing yourself on a set of scales. Get a tape measure out and measure around your belly button and it should be 94 centimetres or less. And if you're in America, no idea, so you better do the conversion. But 94 centimetres is the magic number. So the other thing with having too much belly fat is it means that you're obviously much more likely to have a heart attack, so that's a really good reason to get rid of it. The second thing is that you're more li likely to have type 2 diabetes. And if you have type 2 diabetes, then we all see television ads that show that you get like numb fingers and toes. And that's because the extra sugar in your bloodstream does damage to the nerves. But you also have a set of nerves that are really important to telling your penis that it's its job to go up. So if you've got type 2 diabetes, then those nerves might get damaged as well. So you might already know that you have type 2 diabetes and it might be really badly controlled. So for instance, I saw a guy this week who has type 2 diabetes and his GP knows and he's got walking around the place with a blood sugar level of 18 to 20. Number one, it's really not safe. And number two, his nerves are in no good shape whatsoever and he's wondering why his penis doesn't work. So what we've done with him is we've referred him off to a diabetes educator and sometimes, depending on the severity of the diabetes, an endocrinologist, because you really need to get your blood sugar levels sorted out if you want your bits down there to function and you want to live a long, healthy, happy life. So if you've got type 2 diabetes and erectile dysfunction, please don't give up hope because there's lots of things that you can be done to help you get over this problem. So there's prescription medications, there's changing your diet, getting at least 30 minutes of exercise a day and improving the quality of your sleep, just to name a few. Restorative Health Clinic, if you're wondering, we're a clinic based in Perth, but we also have clinics in rural towns in Western Australia. And we also have telehealth options all around Australia and worldwide. And we see heaps of people from all over the world. So if you want to book an appointment, just contact us and we would love to see you. Thanks very much for watching the video and I hope you learned something new. So the moral of the story is, if you want your hose to keep pumping, you really need to get rid of your belly fat.